Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. I think you're going to really enjoy this brief demonstration. It's a fun one, and it's going to show you a technique that you can make use of very effectively in your designing to come up with a really, really neat look. What is the technique? What is the effect? We call it Biedermeier. Biedermeier. Now, Biedermeier has been around for a long time. It's a technique that can be traced back to Europe. And in fact, most of the time when we think of it, we think of bridal bouquet work. It's typically that round little bouquet that has circles in it. Round little bouquet that has circles. But what we're going to show you in today's demonstration is that Biedermeier is not limited to little bouquets. And we can do some really, really cool things with it. Things that are easy to achieve, fun to achieve, which fits our philosophy that floral designing is fun and easy. Here, let me show you a few ideas. First of all, here is an example of a Biedermeier, but it's translated into a little cup and saucer design. Biedermeier is defined as concentric circles. And so if you look at this little cup and saucer, we have concentric circles. A circle of our uh, lavender or pink daisy palm, a circle of our yellow uh, daisy palms here, but we've kind of accentuated it here and there with a little mini carnation to break it up a little bit and a rose in the center. Simple, quick, and easy. You're simply making two circles and adding a rose in the middle. What could be easier than that? But it's an example of Biedermeier style applied in a small little vase arrangement. Now, from small, let's go to something that's a little bit bigger. Notice the two designs that I have next to this are a little bit larger still. And let's see what we have here. In the second one, we have a vase arrangement. This is a design that's done in a water base. This is typical of many of the kinds of designs that are really popular at the present time. Lots of flowers worked into a glass container. We've got a cylinder here. This looks like aspidistra leaf in here, but it really isn't. Actually, what we're using on the inside of this container happens to be uh, a ribbon. It's a ribbon that simulates aspidistra. It's very cool. We take it, wrap it around the center, we can use water base, we can use foam, drop it in here, and we've got a base that we can work in. So it gives us a very, very cool feeling, but it's actually created with a ribbon kind of interior. We've got some of our carnations worked around in a circle. Very, very simple to achieve. We're using the lime green carnations in this particular case. <coughs> Excuse me, my viewer, and they look really, really cool. And then we've followed that with a circle of some of our Alstromeria, and then finally a little cluster of roses in the center. Biedermeier style, very, very contemporary in feeling on this particular design. Now let's contrast that with this design here that happens to be in a far more traditional kind of base. The container that we have in this particular design almost feels like it came out of some archaeological dig, doesn't it? It looks very, very weathered and beaten up and so forth, kind of earth kind of features. It's a really, really cool container. These containers, incidentally, are not that old. Uh, it was brought in from overseas about a year ago. It's fairly recent, but it gives that weathered look and it gives a really, really neat effect. Stylistically, again, we're using Biedermeier here. We've got a circle of our daisy palms, a circle of our mini carnations, a little circle of status, and then a rose right on the top. Very simple to do, very easy to do. You guys can play with this, come up with all kinds of effects. And notice, this is not a bridal bouquet, although the top here certainly could be considered if we put it in a bouquet holder into a bridal bouquet format. It's a vase arrangement, quick and easy, Biedermeier. What could be better than that? And notice the difference in contrast between these two in terms of something that feels a little bit more on the contemporary side and something that feels a little bit more on the classical traditional side and yet both of them achieve this goal of Biedermeier and use that technique of concentric circles to really, really great effect. Well, my viewer, let's play with this concept of Biedermeier a little bit more and come up with a few other variations that I think you're going to find kind of interesting. Now here is a container. It's very, very popular at the present time. It's a container that actually has moss attached to it. Some of our sheet moss is attached to this particular container. These kinds of containers are very, very neat. They're fun. They're funky. Again, we're making use of Biedermeier styling here. Uh, a circle of our palms followed by a circle of our roses. In this particular case, we got a little funky. 
a few pieces of our larkspur shooting out of the thing, almost giving us a phoenix effect that is very, very interesting, so it's not so low and flat. Again, the concept of Biedermeyer here, very simple, very quick, something that you could do and really enjoy. Let's take the idea of this base that has moss on the outside and expand it and play with it a little bit more. Here, my viewer, is another design based on the Biedermeyer technique. Based on the Biedermeyer technique, you can see this one's a little bit different. The flowers on this particular one have been placed off-center. They're slightly to one side. And we're not doing exact concentric circles. The concept of Biedermeyer originally was circle within circle within circle on our flowers. In this particular case, we're using concentric circles, but we're playing with it. Notice what we have here. We have, as a bullseye, a cremon palm. It is followed by one, two, three, four, five of a different uh, variety of cremones, but they almost give a star effect, don't they? Interesting, isn't it? And then we're following the overall contours of this thing with some of our daisy palms. So we have something that gives the feeling of Biedermeyer in terms of concentric circles. However, if you look at it carefully, it's not a perfect concentric circle. But who says it has to be? This is the 21st century. We can have fun with this. We're also playing with another motif in this particular design. Notice the stems coming out. They don't really come out of this. They've been inserted. These are a few carnation stems left over from another project. They've been placed in here. And the concept is it simulates the old-fashioned uh, sheaf or a presentation basket where you've got flowers on one side, the stems kind of hanging off the other as if the stems are part of the overall piece. It's a very interesting conglomeration of a number of different variables, the use of the contemporary container with moss attached, the concept of Biedermeyer that's been with us for a long time, but reworked and slightly altered into something that is not a concentric circle, but still has circles of things around, and then this concept of the, uh, of the sheaf basket or the presentation uh, idea, presentation bouquet with the natural stems hanging off. A very, very interesting adaptation in both of these particular cases of this concept of Biedermeyer, making it a little bit different, and certainly something adapted to vase arrangement work in the 21st century. Okay, my viewer, now let's see what other interesting things do we have, because our staff here at Rittner Floral School has been working very, very hard to prepare for this particular demonstration show, so that we can show you some really, really neat ideas. Let's remove these and show you a couple of other things that we have here that I think you're going to find really, really neat. Who said that Biedermeyer has to be just general? We can also get very, very specific in terms of holiday work with Biedermeyer. And that's what we've done on this particular design. If you look at this, once again, we're making use of a cylinder base, a cylinder base, but this one is a little bit bigger than the cylinder before. It's kind of like the older brother or sister of this particular cylinder. This one's a little bit bigger. In this particular case, notice the infrastructure. The infrastructure here is very interesting. We're making use of foam, foam cubes. The foam cubes that are made available by the people at Smithers Oasis that come in a wide variety of colors. And we're playing with, of course, our red, our blue. And if you look over on this side, you see some white. We've concentrated them with the red, white, and blue. Obviously, uh, this is going to be something that's more geared towards a patriotic theme, possibly for July 4th. And we're repeating those colors in the colors of our flowers. We have a circle of our palms. We have a circle of our minis. We have a white rose on top and some larkspur cut down and worked into the center. So we're playing with the red, white, and blue motif, both in terms of the decorative element of our foam cubes and then also repeating that in our flowers. Again, the use of Biedermeyer. Certainly a non-traditional use of Biedermeyer, even though we're using the concentric circle idea. Notice, my viewer, that in most of these designs, we're using some pretty traditional materials flower-wise. We're using things like palms and minis and larkspur roses. These are things that you can easily get. You can get them at your local florist. You can get them at a mass outlet. These are things that are relatively inexpensive, easy to get hold of. And look at, by using this particular technique, how you can come up with some very, very interesting results. Now, if we can do something for, say, a July 4th or patriotic theme using Biedermeyer, we can also apply the same technique to other holidays as well. And we just couldn't resist, even though the time that we're producing this particular video is essentially the middle of the summer. 
We just couldn't help ourselves. We had to play with the Christmas motif. But once again, this is Biedermeyer for the 21st century. Dynamic, new, renewed, a different kind of look, making use of a basket here, using the traditional green and red along with our a regular a natural color on our wicker, a circle of our red mini carnations, a circle now in terms of the Biedermeyer effect of our pine cones, some millimeter balls, glass balls, both shiny and dull in a green and in more of a lavendery red to kind of give us a little kink on it and then some white mini carnations placed around the center, a little touch of baby's breath on the top, the use of raffia intertwined through this and also some of our sheet moss periodically peeking through. This is a very contemporary approach to Biedermeyer, certainly not what they intended when they first started to come out with some of these things, but it is a really, really cool variant on this particular concept. And we wanted to show this one to you again, to show you that the concept of Biedermeyer can be used very, very effectively in a wide range of things, including some of our Christmas designing. Isn't that cool? And easy to do, so easy. All you have to do, my viewer, is put things in circles. And that's all there is to it. It's really, really quick. It's really, really easy, and it's something that you, my viewer, I think may enjoy playing with in your designing. Now, we have a few other ideas that we want to show you before we stop. We played a little bit of holiday kind of thing. How about this? Who said that Biedermeyer has to be limited to only vase arrangement or bouquets? In this particular case, we're playing with the concept of Biedermeyer in a topiary, in a topiary, and you'll notice our topiary here is not a typical sphere. We've deliberately made the topiary in the form of almost an oval shape, almost a football shape. It is suspended with some incredible branches here, some stems in a container with moss worked in through. You'll notice that our use of the Biedermeyer technique in this particular design is a little bit different here as well. We didn't go with concentric circles on the horizontal plane. We went with concentric circles vertically. Hey, why not? Again, 21st century, let's adapt this thing. Let's have fun. Let's go in different directions. Not for every customer, but definitely something that many people would find very interesting. This happens to be the beaded wire produced by the folks at Smithers Oasis. After we made our concentric circles, we took our beaded wire, woven it through on this thing. It gives a really, really different kind of look to this design. So again, We've got a Biedermeyer style design, but it is not concentric circles in horizontals that we would normally think of. It is a very, very different kind of expression on this kind of designing. What do you think, my viewer? Something a little different? Something to consider. Play with your concentric circles, not only horizontally, but also vertically. And yes, you can even do them diagonally to come up with some really, really interesting effects. Well, let's see what else we have, because we have a few other things, a couple other things we want to share with you. Ah, this one. You're going to love this one. Biedermeyer, but flat. In other words, it's done in a flat container. Notice what we've done in this particular one. This almost feels like a pizza pie, doesn't it, huh? I look at this and I'm ready to go out and have some food. We've got, again, our concept of concentric circles. We've got a circle using our yellow daisy palms here, a circle of our carnations in the hot pink. To make sure that it doesn't feel quite as regular or mundane, we've broken it up a little with a few of our Alstromeria. A circle in the center working towards the middle with our green lime carnations, some roses right in the middle, and we've got some uh, status radiating out in different directions from it. You can see here that we're playing with the concept of Biedermeyer using a pave kind of style, but we're using this concept of Biedermeyer and playing with it in a way that, again, is non-traditional. It gives an interesting effect. Oh, this stuff, some of the incredible wire collars put out by the people at Smithers Oasis. It's a wire kind of collar. It has little pearls worked into it, and we're just wrapped it around here and anchored it in place. This is a very, very neat example of Biedermeyer that could be placed, say, on a coffee table and works very, very effectively. What do you think? Neat, huh? Now, in finishing our demonstration, We'd like to show you one last concept, and I think you'll find this one to be really, really interesting. These are the 
kinds of uh, ceramic containers that have become very, very popular recently. We call them bricks here at Rittner School because they almost look like a big brick or a big uh, piece of concrete cinder block. Uh, it's white ceramic actually. And what we have here are two Biedermeyers, one on one side, one on the other. Uh, this design is made in foam. It's not done in bouquet holders or anything. And again, a Biedermeyer on one side with some of our carnations, some of our daisy palms, a rose stuck in the middle. A second one on this side with carnations, some cushion palms, and a few mini carnations in the middle. And to give this design a proper sense of kink, we've got all kinds of uh, branchy stuff that we have kind of woven through and in coming around here in a little bit of our baker fern for coverage. Definitely an interesting piece something that is off the beaten track but gets across the concept of Biedermeier in a very, very, very neat and 21st century way. Well, my viewer, we've covered a lot of ground in this short demonstration. You've seen how Biedermeier can be used for things ranging from a cup and saucer to a design in a cylinder to containers that look aged. We can play with the Phoenix kind of effect on Biedermeier. We can play with things like sheaf bouquet or presentation bouquet effects on Biedermeier. We can stylize Biedermeier for various holidays using the symbolism, the colors, and so forth that are associated with those holidays. We can apply it in topiary form. We can stretch it, angle at different angles, and come up with very, very interesting effects. And yes, we can come up with things ranging from something that looks a pizza, like a pizza pie to something that looks like this. And it's all based on the concept of simple round circles. Simple, easy, quick. That's the Rittner Floral School way. My viewer, all of us here at Rittner's appreciate your watching this. Our staff worked very hard to prepare this for you. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. It was a pleasure having you come into one of our classrooms today. Thank you.